guys welcome back if you are new here welcome so as you guys can already tell by the title of the video i went and got a ysl bag today <laughs> I have wanted a YSL bag for a while now. I've wanted this particular bag for about over a year now um, and I just finally did it. So if anyone watching is from Massachusetts, then you guys know that this coming weekend is tax-free weekend. So I ended up going to YSL the other day. Um, I think it was last Tuesday. Today's Friday, by the way. Um, and I went to make sure that I wanted the bag. I really liked it. And even then, they already had a pre-sale for the tax-free weekend. However, the only bag left in the store was the one that they literally let everyone touch and like put on and try on and put shit in. So I was asking the lady if there was any way that I could just get a new bag. So pretty much I put the deposit down on Tuesday, which was literally the full amount of the purse. And then Wednesday and Thursday, I was just like sitting in my room, like waiting, just waiting, waiting, waiting for her to text me when it came into the store. So then last night I called the store right before they closed and she was like, oh my God, I've been so busy. I forgot to text you. Yes, your purse is in. So I'm like, so I went in this morning um, and I got my bag. So I'm going to do an unboxing for you guys so you guys can see the purse. Of course, I'm going to like put some things in it so you guys can really see the size. It's really hard to actually understand what can fit in a purse even just by looking at the dimensions um, because the dimensions of the purse are kind of false because if it's not like the dimensions of like the inside instead of like the outside structure, you really don't know what you can fit in. Before I get to that, I did kind of want to give a little background about me wanting this particular bag, me wanting a designer bag, etc. If you guys aren't interested in that, feel free. I'm going to put in the time um, as to when I do the actual unboxing. So feel free to skip this if you guys do not care, which I don't blame you if you just want to see the bag. Um, but we will get to that in a minute. So when I first started my YouTube channel about two years ago, Every YouTuber and every influencer that I followed and that I really did find inspiration from all had designer bags. They, they always had the little um, Louis Vuitton change thing that you can put on your keys. They all had a YSL bag. They had the Gucci belt. They had everything designer. And at the time, starting off, I was like, I can't really compete. Like, I'm not well established where I have the money to buy it. I don't come from money where my parents are just like, here's money, go buy it. Although I will get to one point in a second. Um, and at the time I just graduated from college, I literally had no money. The only money I had was left over from when I worked at a coffee shop called Aroma Joe's. There I was making $7.25 an hour. $7.25. Shout out to New Hampshire. It's a minimum wage. Thanks. Thank you so much. So as you can imagine, I really didn't have much saved up. Um, so in the meantime, while I was starting my channel, I actually started following this one YouTuber. Her name is Adeline. Um, her like vlog channel is Adeline's Camera Roll, I believe. I'll link it down below. I'll literally link the videos down below. She did a whole haul on a ton of fake designer that she got off Amazon. So pretty much I watched that video and I was like obsessed. I bought a fake Cartier ring. I put like a Gucci belt in my bag, but then I was like, I really don't want to be one of those basic girls. No offense to anyone who has it. At the time, it was so popular. I was like, I don't want to be basic and just get a Gucci belt. And then not too long after buying the Cartier ring and kind of debating whether I wanted to buy like a fake purse off Amazon, I ended up going away cruise and we ended up going to St. Martin. St. Martin, they have a ton of stores where they do all like fake designer. So me and my mom were in there and the cruise was like my birthday graduation gift so I didn't pay for anything but she the day that we went I think was the day before my actual birthday so she was like well I'll get you something for your birthday as she literally bought like a real Louis Vuitton bag like the day before um but we ended up finding a fake Louis wallet and I absolutely loved it I was like I was obsessed I literally changed all my shit over I didn't care that it was fake I also wasn't one to like lie if someone asked me about the wallet it was fake I also sorry about the lighting um the sun just keeps going in and out it's cloudy today so i apologize um so then again after that cruise fast forward like three months me and my mom went on a trip to paris i originally did not want to go because 
I still hadn't found a job. This is what, six months out of college where I literally have, I don't have a job. And I was literally like one month away from my student loan starting. So I was definitely starting to panic. I'm like, I really don't wanna go away, even though it was an amazing trip, it's Paris. Like who shuts down a trip to Paris? But I just simply was so stressed. I'm like, I don't know if I can really enjoy it. So my dad pretty much was like, I'll give you some money so you, you can enjoy it. Like it's really not a big deal. You know your mom is gonna pay for things. Like she's the one who wants to take you, but I will give you money anyways. So my dad gave me money for the trip. Um, and when we were in Paris, we obviously went to all the designer places. This was when I first went into the YSL store Store there and I really 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 wanted a bag I wanted just like the classic like chain wallet that everyone has um, because that was just like all I really knew about why I saw at the moment like I was in the store but my eyes were like immediately attracted to the bag that I've seen literally every influencer have um, but it was just too expensive even with the money my dad gave me like it just I I couldn't afford it so then I ended up finding a bag from Gucci and it is small like very small it was like one of like their mini bags like it like barely fits my phone like this like can kind of fit sideways when I first bought it I didn't have the XR so obviously my phone wasn't as big but this one like kind of fits you really kind of have to shove it in there um but yeah so I ended up getting that bag however that was a bag that like I still didn't pay for it like although I was so happy to get and I like pretty much used it all the time I didn't pay for it. I didn't even necessarily want to spend the money that my dad gave me on one bag, but my mom was like, just do it, do it. And I was like, ah, so then I did it. And then I came back still just as poor as I went there with. And I always said that with my first job, my first paycheck was gonna go to a designer bag. So unfortunately for me, my first job started in December. So my first paycheck just literally went to my student loans and then Christmas gifts. So then fast forward a year to my birthday, my boyfriend ended up getting me a real Louis Vuitton wallet which was like the best thing ever so I was like weirdly getting this like designer fix even though like none of it was me I was never buying it um it was never my money so it wasn't until I got promoted into a sales position when I was like okay when I get my first commission check I'm going to buy the YSL bag that I want. So I remember going in a right around, this was still before I got the job. I went into the YSL store and I knew which bag I wanted. Um, and once I got my first commission check, I, I think I took some money out to put towards it, but literally like two months later, I ended up getting laid off because of Corona. So then I was like, well, eh, can't really do that, can we? <laughs> then I ended up using my last commission check to, pay off all my student loans so I ended up paying off my student loans um and ever since then I've really just been very frugal about my money and I've been saving up here and there um to get this bag so literally this is like the real Louis that my boyfriend got me but this is like the fake one so you guys can see it's like like you can see you can really like tell when you feel it but this fake louis has been like holding all of like the cash for this ysl bag because i can't just like put it into my savings bit oh i won't touch it no i need it like physically out of sight so i am putting this literally in the bank today anyways that was kind of like the backstory I, I never really cared if the designer was real or fake until i got a real bag and that's when i really understood like the value of it the quality, everything about it. Like, like you are getting what you paid for. So it does make sense, but that's kind of why I wanted to like give like a little background about myself, designer bags. Like I usually was never that girl, but now I am. And I'm not gonna be like buying like designer like every week or like once I get a job. Like this is more so like, this is the bag that I've wanted for so long and I've wanted YSL for so long that I'm just so happy that I could go during tax free weekend because no really designer goes on sale. Like sometimes you can maybe get like a discount very rare. So this was kind of like my way of like getting a deal for this bag was by buying it on tax free weekend. So without further ado, the bag. So I wanted to unbox it. I obviously saw it in stores, duh. But she like wrapped it up so nice. So I thought I would unbox it on camera for you guys. I will say that when I was leaving the store, she like whispered something to me and I didn't really know what she said. I thought she was trying to say that she put like little like perfume samples in here. But no, like she legit, I felt this in the car. I didn't like open it, but I felt it. She put a legit, bottle of champagne in here 
a bottle of champagne. Look at this. Oh, it's a small one, but still. How cute. That's what she was whispering to me. I thought she gave me like perfume samples and I was like, oh my God, thanks. But like, no champagne with this literal just bag, which you best believe I'm going to be using this for God knows what, pretending like I paid for this, which I might as well have, but what a time. Just, I could bring this for like my groceries. Ah! So the real unboxing. Oh my God. Oh my God. This is gorgeous. Let me put my hair behind my ears because I can't really see. So, ooh. Should we undo this? I'm pretty sure you can just slide it off, right? Okay, we're gonna untie it because I don't wanna break it. Um, okay, here we go. You know, the, uh, ooh, this is nice. So it comes in the dust bag is that what it's called i think it's called a dust bag so it comes in the dust bag and if we pull it out oh my god i'm gonna pull it out for you guys because i already know exactly what it looks like okay god. so this is it how adorable um so yeah it is a smaller bag it's more of like a um like a crossbody it can be both it can be a crossbody or also just a regular um, so this is it. You have an outside pocket here. Um, and I don't know what I would put in there, but pretty much you open it up. Let's take this out. And then also you have, of course, the chain. So when I was looking at YSL bags, there is the one that literally every girl has. Everyone has, especially like in the city, like every girl has the same YSL like, chain wallet and I didn't want I wanted something different this was more expensive than obviously the one that everyone has but to me that was more important than just being like another basic girl where it's like is it real is it fake like no okay so here's the strap again so sorry about the lighting guys the light just keeps going in and out um but pretty much it's just the normal chain strap but it also has a leather at top at the top which I really liked because it definitely gives it more of a casual vibe and not so fancy when you have like the full also i don't know if you can tell but the gold here is not this isn't like a normal shiny gold um i don't know if you can tell it's more of like a brassy gold which i really liked because again it just adds way more to the like casual effect um and then of course this also does have this strap here which i absolutely loved um because there's so many ways that you can use this bag. So if I really wanted to, of course, I could go ahead and take off the chain. So I could go ahead and take off this chain and just carry it like this. Like a little, like a little, like, oh my God, how cute. Um, So you have that. And then also with this bag, it is pretty long. So I, when you open it, and this is like for most bags, pretty much instead of having it like this, you can put it right here. And this is like pretty self-explanatory for most people. You pretty much crisscross it there. You can go ahead and close the bag. And then from there, you have a shorter chain. So really you just, there's so many options. Like we could do the long chain, the short chain, just the little, the little thing. Like even hold it this with this dangling, like how adorable. Um, so the inside is pretty spacious. So the inside is pretty spacious. So you have a huge pocket with a ton of card holders. And then of course you have this little outside pocket as well as this back outside pocket. And then you also have this zipper, which you can go ahead and put stuff in as well. And this bag, this bag is called, I feel like I didn't even tell you guys this. Um, this bag is called the Sunset Chain Wallet in Smooth Leather. So this retails and it was $19.90, so $1,990. As you can tell, that is why I got it on Tax Free Weekend because in Massachusetts, tax is like 6%. So the tax on this bag would be like an extra like $115, which again, with designer, like that, any money you can save take advantage of it so this bag does perfectly fit my phone in here 
you also have even more room with it um i will say that if i take off my case i'm gonna have even more room so i know some people who have like the lumi cases or the bigger cases i was watching reviews on this sometimes it can be a bit tight this fits perfectly in here with all of this like added space so i can fit pretty much anything in there of course i could fit like a little like change wallet um but again it already has the card holders for you oh more ysl labeling yes yeah, so this is it if you guys are curious So anyways guys, this is the bag. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys like it. Let me know if you have any other YSL bags or which ones you guys personally prefer. Um, I will say that this looks, the way it's shaped looks a lot like that Gucci bag that I was saying that I got. The way it like opens up like this. So I was a little hesitant to get it just because I'm like, well it looks like my other bag but I just like this style. It's cute. And I just love, I love, love, love the handle. I just feel like it adds so much more than just like the normal wallet on a chain. Even though this is still considered a chain wallet, it is bigger inside. It is more so a person when, again, I was talking to the lady at YSL. She was like, I honestly have the bigger one, but it's just too big to bring out for what you want, which was, of course, bringing it out to the bar, bring it out to when I get dinner, um, anything like that. Wow, the sun loves to just come back out at the end. Um, but bring it out to the bar, bring it out to lunch, dinner, any type of just like nice chill day where i don't need like a huge bag i just wanted something that i could bring which this will be it so i'm so excited i'm so excited so again if you guys enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already and hit that bell button so you guys are notified every single time i post um again i post every single wednesday it used to be sunday and wednesday it has been pretty much every wednesday since then um and although i have been slacking a little bit with the content i have so much coming guys it is so exciting i'm moving out in a month so i will be posting a empty apartment tour so if you guys are curious to see my empty apartment in the city definitely go ahead and subscribe turn on those post notifications so you guys are notified when i do it will probably be the last week of september to be honest just because there will be work being done on the apartment most of the month of september so yeah so i have that coming and then i have just shopping for my apartment organization and decorating my room i have no idea what i want to do with my bedroom but i have so many ideas and i just need to like get it done so pretty much i want to take you guys along with me during that whole process so again if you guys are interested in anything like that again go subscribe and i hope you guys enjoyed this i'm so 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 excited i got this um and i really appreciate all your guys's support and all of the love that you guys have been showing me lately um so again thank you and i will see you guys next wednesday bye Thank you.